Oh, hi! Hey guys, it's Maggie, and wow, it has been a really long time since I've talked to you guys. I feel like I have some explaining to do before I even get into this video, but if you don't really care about my life or why I haven't posted for two weeks, you can just fast forward a couple seconds. Basically, the reason that I didn't post for two weeks is honestly so stupid because I so could have easily solved this. But basically, I was in Disney for two weeks, and I brought my camera with the intention of filming, but I didn't have anything to edit it on because I was planning on editing it on my dad's computer, but he didn't have any storage to download the editing software that I used. And I could have just brought my own laptop, but I figured I wouldn't need to, so that's basically what happened. I 100% had the intention of filming and I would have said something if I knew that I wasn't going to be posting for two weeks, but I physically couldn't unless you just wanted like raw footage, which I don't think anyone wants that. Okay, hello people that skipped all of that boring life talk. Let's get into the video. The makeup community on social media has taken such a turn in these last few weeks and I am just so confused. If you are into makeup, you have definitely heard of the squiggly or wavy brow trend. I don't know if it's squiggly or wavy. I like squiggly better. I like, I feel like that describes it better. So it started out with eyebrows, so I was like, okay. And then I saw squiggly lips, I saw a squiggly eyeliner, I saw this girl do a full face of squiggle. I do think it looks really cool just for like pictures, or I could totally see them doing this on like a runway, because you know how they do like weird makeup things on there? I think that that would look really cool, honestly. I say we just get right into it. So today, I'm going to be doing squiggly eyebrows, squiggly lips and squiggly eyeliner oh my god this is gonna be a mess so i'm gonna start off with eyebrows just because that's what really started this whole trend so what my plan is is i'm going to take an eyebrow pencil which desperately needs to be sharpened actually what i think i'm gonna start with is using a spoolie and some hairspray and just brushing my eyebrows in the direction of a swirl Okay, that literally did nothing, but like, maybe. So I'm going to draw the points where I want it. So we want one right there. So we got our basic outline. So now I say we draw the outline and then we'll fill it in. Oh my god, why does this look so awful? Let me try to clean that up because that looks terrible. The eyebrow stuff that I'm using is so cheap. It, you can catch it in my dollar store video. I'm gonna go in with some Modern Renaissance Cypress Umber, and we're gonna try to salvage this eyebrow. That's an interesting look. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, so when it goes down, it goes down on the other side. So I, I'll try to do an underneath on this. So when it goes down, it goes like this. Okay. Oh, I'm st it's starting to look more like the thing. I think I kind of did it. Like, kind of. This is really hard. I have a lot more respect for the people that actually know how to do this. I thought it was a lot easier than it actually is, but it's not. Maybe, wait, I have an idea. What if instead of concealer, we just take makeup remover? And Okay, like we're actually getting somewhere now. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave that. Like, yeah, it's not good. But is it bad? Nope. Well, yes, but I honestly think that that's as good as it's gonna get. So that is that. Um, maybe we should do half face squiggly and half face like regular makeup. I'm gonna take some eyeliner now. I think we should go do the eyeliner next. And that, I feel like that'll be pretty easy. Okay, 
Okay, I feel like I should put a little bit of eyeshadow on just to make this a little less like girl. I'll just put a little bit of warm taupe in. And then I'll put a little bit of Vermeer on the lid. Like any other eyebrow look, I should put highlighter underneath. So I'm going to put a little bit of Vermeer right here. Now we're going to go in to the lips. They're kind of just going to look like flower lips, but you know what? That's our style of the day, I guess. Now we're going to just go in with some Lolita, which was honestly a bad choice for this because I'm going to want it off as soon as I put it on, but... This just looks like I got into some chocolate that I was not supposed to be in. I'm not even going to go into mascara because, you know what, I'm not going to be rocking this look all day, so I'm not in the mood to be scrubbing off mascara. Okay, so now I'm going to go do this side like regular, and we will see the difference. So, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but... I definitely know which side I like better. All I gotta say about the squiggly brow, lip, eyeliner, or squiggly whatever trend is if you can do it flawlessly and make it look good, you have a lot of talent because I thought I was decent at makeup. Okay, I might not be the best, but for the most part, I can figure out how to do things. You know what? Makeup is nothing more than an art, so if you want to make it all squiggly, you do you, girl. I I think I'm going to stick to this side, but you know what? Maybe one day I'll try this again and I'll say, hmm, you know what? I, I, I want to be wavy today. I want to be that dancing Squidward. Let's just get that final side by side and you guys can vote in the comments down below which should be my everyday makeup look. And again, I didn't do anything to my eyelashes just because I was too lazy to take it off. So it might look better with eyelashes. I feel like every makeup look looks better with some nice thick false eyelashes, but I was just like not in the mood to do that today. doing those and I'm showing you guys my makeup because without the music it is just the most awkward thing in the world. Alright guys that's pretty much it for this week's video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below how you feel about all this wavy makeup. I'm I'm not a fan for it for myself but you know what you guys do you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday and turn on that little notification bell so that you can be told whenever I make a new video. Who wouldn't want to watch me mess up my face right the second that it comes out? I know I wouldn't want to miss out on that. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you next Monday with another new video. Bye!